So we're going to talk about breath now. Breath is the key to life. It's the key to singing, truly the key to singing. And very few people understand how their breath works or why they breathe in and out. We do have something in our bodies called a diaphragm. Underneath the solar plexus, which is that soft little spot on your chest, you ever been hit there with a ball, it really hurts. And people say, oh, I had the wind knocked out of me. That's the solar plexus. That is where the diaphragm attaches. The diaphragm is a donut-shaped muscle that goes from the front all the way around to the back. And it is the reason that we can breathe. Inhale and exhale. Now, the diaphragm is used in two different ways. It's used for breathing, like we just showed, in and out, like a billows, something that pumps air in and out. Or it can be used as what's called the core muscle. If I were to say, I need to lift this piano, what would I do with my body? I would get that core very nice and stiff here, very hard. I would then lift the piano using the core of my muscle. Dancers also use the core anytime they do lifting with their arms or holding their bodies up. This area, the core, the diaphragm, this whole area becomes tight with the diaphragmatic muscles because it needs to support the body. In singing, however, we do not ever want a tight core like that. We want a natural supported core that moves in and out, the diaphragm like a billow. So ever seen any of those instruments that you use to make the fire bigger? That's what I'm talking about with the voice. So a primitive example of how to find your diaphragm, very easy, is to put your hand below your solar plexus and I want you very easily just to inhale and I want you to hiss out like a teapot. So you can't hold your breath anymore. And then inhale. And fill back up. Now you should have easily felt with your hand on that diaphragm how the diaphragm moved down and down and down and squeezed further and further and further in till you were completely out of breath. And then when you had to take that breath in, it filled right back up and filled the lungs with air. And that is the process of how we use air with the notes. That is how it's worked. It's a nice, easy, relaxed, natural process. You should feel the air moving from the belly button up never in the shoulders and chest, but from down below. You fill from the bottom and fill out this way as opposed to filling up this way. Okay, you always want to keep the shoulders down and relaxed. Everything is all, it's natural. It's very easy. We make it difficult. It's actually very easy. So let's do that hiss again and feel what that feels like. And then we're going to make a note because the exact feeling from the hiss, as this hiss ends, comes from the same thing when the vocal folds close over a note. That same feeling that you get, that resistance that you get, will also have the same reaction of the diaphragm as when you make the hiss. So let's make a hiss. And you feel that diaphragm moving in. Now let's make a note. And let's hold that note and feel the identical feeling as the resistance closing over the vocal cords. Ah, you can see that my hand goes down. It's the same as the hiss. Ah, ah, ah. So the whole time you can see the diaphragm. If you primitively want to know how the diaphragm feels when you're making a note, hiss first. S ha, then do a note. Hiss. S ha, and you will feel what happens with the diaphragm when it supports a note. Now as we go up, you will hear the diaphragm working. Ha, 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 ha. You 
can actually see my diaphragm moving in and out <laughs> as it supports each note. And that, again, is how we control and how we support our notes. Without the diaphragm, there would be nothing. <laughs> nothing. So that's a short lesson on how the diaphragm works.